great day to be at Trinity Kids. My name is Beth and today we're going to talk about creativity. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. God made each of us in his image. He made us to, like, to be like him. We can use the creativity he gave us to make a difference in the world around us. It's pretty great to know that we're made in God's image because, well, God is great. Who remembers our memory verse for this month? It's Psalm 145, verse 3. That's right. It's, Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Good job. It's true. It's impossible for us to understand how truly great God is. You might say he's indescribable. Speaking of creativity, let's play a creative game. I really love to be creative when I'm in the kitchen. So I'm gonna put on my chef hat. And then we're gonna talk about two ingredients that I use in the kitchen a lot, sugar and salt. Sugar and salt look a lot alike, but in certain recipes, you have to use more salt or more sugar. Let's play a game where we look at a bunch of different foods and you tell me if you think we use more salt or more sugar. If it's more salt, I want you to raise your left hand and stand on your left foot. If there's more sugar, I want you to stand on your right foot and raise your right hand. All right, let's go. What do you think, salt or sugar? That's right, sugar. What do you think about potato chips? Salt, that's right. Cookies, that's sugar. Ice cream, that's sugar again. Guacamole, yum, that's salt. Pretzels, yep, that's salt. Brownies, sugar, cake, sugar again. Ooh, broccoli. I like salt on my broccoli. This one's tricky. It's the ketchup. Is ketchup sweet or salty? It's sweet, so we use sugar. Good job. That was really fun. Who knew that baking could be so creative? Speaking of creative, Jesus always found really creative ways to teach people. Our story is about one of those times. But before we get to it, it's time to sing. Let's all stand up and worship together.
every day we can share God's story with others. Like we read in Psalm 105 verse 1, give praise to the Lord and announce who he is. Tell the nations what he has done. We can show others how great God is by the way we live every day. Let's continue singing and worship him now. Welcome back, Trinity Kids. I hope you enjoyed worship today. I'm Carrie, and I'm bringing us our Bible story today. When Jesus was on the earth, crowds gathered wherever he went. They wanted to hear his wise words, and they had heard about his amazing miracles, too. One particular day, Jesus saw a crowd gathering. He took his disciples up a mountainside and began to teach them. He explained how we can live out God's love here on earth when we show his love to others. Matthew was one of the disciples who was there that day, and he wrote down all the words that Jesus spoke. We can read about them in the Bible, in the book of Matthew. Today we're starting in Matthew chapter 5, and we go with Jesus' words, You are the salt of the earth, but suppose the salt loses its saltiness. How can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything. It will be thrown out. People will walk all over it. Hmm. Let's see what else Jesus had to say. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Let's figure out what Jesus meant by that. Let's start with the first part. You are the salt of the earth. Salt. Salt is important for a lot of things. 
It definitely makes popcorn better. It actually is added into our cakes and it gives that perfect salty sweet flavor. The right amount of salt is important to keep our bodies working properly. And back in the time when Jesus lived and when he said these words, salt was especially valuable. People used it for lots of different things like keeping their food fresh since there weren't any refrigerators. But if salt ever wasn't salty, then what good would it be for? Jesus was saying that God made us with a very important purpose, just like salt. He created us to make things better for the people around us. What else did Jesus say? You are the light of the world. Light is so important. Obviously, it helps us see where we are going. It guides us when we need to know the way, like a lighthouse that helps keep sailors safe on the ocean. Light can also remind us of hope. Even when everything around us seems dark or scary. When we believe in Jesus, his light shines in us. It's like we're a city on a hill shining for everyone to see. We can shine by doing good things for people around us. Jesus said we shouldn't hide our light. Instead, we should let it shine bright. So here's a question for you. Why is it so important for us to be like salt and light? Let's go back to what Jesus said. In Matthew chapter five, verse 16, it said, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. You see, when we show love to others, we can help them understand how much God loves them. We can bring glory to God when we do good things for other people. Like when we spend time with someone who needs a friend when we stop what we're doing to help others, or when we work together to solve a problem. We don't just do good things so that people will see us. When we let our light shine so others can see it, people will see the good things we do and bring glory to God. By using our creativity to help others, we can share God's story and show what God is doing in our lives. When Jesus said that we are like salt and light, he meant that we can make things better for the people around us. When we share God's story and shine his light, we can bring hope to others. We help fill their lives with kindness, peace, and joy. We can shine our light by loving God and loving other people. Our lives can tell his story in everything we say and do. In fact, God created you to share his story. Your whole life can point others to God's story. Don't just talk about God. Show what a difference he has made in your life. Treat others the way you want to be treated. That's how we can do what God created us to do. Share his story. Let's pray and ask God to help us do that. Dear God, thank you for creating each of us to share your story. It's a big deal to know that people will see you through the way we treat them every day. Help us be like salt, bringing out the best in ourselves and others. And help us to shine your light by sharing your love with everyone around us. Help us use our creativity to share your story with others. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. What Jesus said to his disciples that day is also true for you and me. God created us to be like salt and light. He made each of us with an important purpose. God created you to share his story. Say that with me. God created you to share his story. Now say, God created me to share his story. God created me to share his story. That's right. Each one of us can share his story with our actions, not just our words. 
If you have a gift or a talent that God has given you, he made you creative in your own unique way. Remember, when you use the gifts that God gave you, it honors him and it allows you to share his love with others. That's how you can share his story and help other people know his love too. Maybe you really like to create art. You could make a drawing that reminds others of God and the amazing world he created. Or you could write out one of your favorite Bible verses that encourages you and give it to a friend. Maybe you know a friend who's going through a hard time. The next time you and your family go to the park, invite that person along. You could ask your teammates to come to an event here at our church. They'd probably really love that. There are tons of great ways that we can share God's story. We can all use our creativity, but the important part to remember is this. God created you to share his story. I wanna thank you all for joining me today here at Trinity Kids. I hope you enjoyed our month long creativity and we will see you next week with a new series.